my long overdue six month update on the Volano Tuono. It's been actually about nine months now. I probably got a thousand, maybe twelve hundred miles on it. So I thought it was a good time to jump back on and uh, just get some updates on the different uh, issues with the bike. Uh, first was the brake pads that seem to be wearing out really quickly. Happy to say those actually um, are doing fine. You know, 1,000, 1,200 miles on it at this point. They're, I'd say they're down maybe 20%. So they're actually holding up pretty good. They are very loud when you're using them. It almost sounds like a disc brake on a car that's out of pad. They're, it almost sounds metallic, but they work fine. They're kind of embarrassing but <laughs> uh, when you're holding the brakes down hard. But they, they work great, and they're actually not wearing out very quickly at all. Um, the brake levers, for me, I, I wear a medium large size glove and these handles just stick out when I'm riding just a little bit too far. I've got to actually reach out a little bit to be able to grab them, so that's a little bit uh, inconvenient, not a huge deal. Um, that non-adjustable seat is definitely an issue. It's uncomfortable on longer rides. Most of my rides are only between 5 and 10 miles. I'm just trying to stay on the bike right now so I don't lose my uh, legs, um, but I could just imagine on anything more than an hour that would be really uncomfortable and again that's mainly because it doesn't it doesn't tilt this direction so, so uh, that'd be nice but have not upgraded it yet because again I'm, I'm it's mostly short rides under half an hour um, the tires and the tubes are have been great uh, the tires are not wearing out quickly at all and I have not had a flat I've only had to add air a couple times so that was another one of my main concerns buying the bike is I thought these these tires were just the tubes would blow out the tires would be trash and they, they have lasted just fine. Um, they I mean they look again this horrible lighting is probably hard to pick up, but they have plenty of tread, um, not worn out at all, don't lose air, so uh, really happy with those. Um, now they do have really bad uh, wet traction and sand or dust or anything on the road. I've almost gone down a couple times if there's any water on the road, um, there's just not a lot of traction, and just going around uh, turns where there's dust or dirt or anything like that collected on the road, um, the, the tire will just come off from underneath you. So I have to be careful with that. But again, super cheap tires, and as far as like holding air and good dry traction, it, they're excellent. So I mean, for this this level of bike, um, the rear derailleur has kind of been a pain. I've had to adjust that three or four times. I mean, that's not really much to do with the bike as it is to do with that's just a really low end derailleur. That's normal. You can't tune a three hundred dollar bike into a thousand dollar bike. That's just something you have to deal with. Um, I don't think that's you know in in nine months having to mess with that a few times is not a huge deal. Um, the gear changes are, are pretty fast and quiet overall. A, a, a little nicer than I was actually expecting. Um, the bike's pretty quiet when you're when you're going down the road. It's those brake pads are pretty much the only thing that really stands out as as being somewhat annoying or almost embarrassing when you're putting the brakes on. But everything else it it, it, it shifts just fine. Now those thumb shifters that definitely still my my main uh, problem with the bike or the, my the thing I like the least about the bike. I have gotten used to it and I'm pretty good at shifting without having to come up out of the uh, proper riding position. Um, but it's still kind of a pain. I just, after several months, I got the, the touch for exactly how much pressure to give it to go up or down a gear. Still would much prefer integrated shifters. But overall, this has been an amazing bike. And if you're getting into uh, riding a road bike and this is your budget, I highly recommend uh, this model. I think it's a great way to get into riding. I wouldn't buy it expecting that you're going to be able to upgrade it just because of how much hassle it's going to be to try to turn this into something more than what it is. I'd, I'd recommend you, you you buy it, ride the heck out of it for six months or a year, and then upgrade and hand it off to someone else that's looking to you know sell it or hand it off to someone else that'd be excited to get onto a road bike. So here is a follow-up video on the Merax Fitness the bike that um, I unboxed about three months ago, and ever since then, this bike has been good. And I put about, I would say, 500 miles on it, and ever since then, um, it has been a great bike, and uh, the pros are definitely, you get the, the drop-down bars, and the 700C tires, and 21 speed bike, so, but there are some downsides to it. So I would say the downsides to it are having the shifters right here, 
if I had the chance or the money, I would upgrade to the Shimano 105, but that's not an option right now, which it is like, it's a, around the cost of this bike, so I don't see the purpose of getting that when you might as well spend the extra money to get a better bike. But I would say it, it isn't the lightest bike, but it is definitely a lot lighter than a lot of bikes. But once again, it is a lot lighter than uh, a lot of other ones. So the pros, drop down bars, and shifting in the back sprocket is actually really nice. But on the front sprocket, there was a chain guard plastic chain guard and um, ever since then that snapped off and I was on my way to school when that happened and it completely fell off my bike and jammed my chain but I had to take that off and then the the chain of every every time you shift down and then shift back up sometimes it will fall off the chain which isn't very good because that will stop you but other than that, really the grip tape and stuff like that could be changed. And the only thing I've really added to the bike was the speedometer and lights and a carry-on bag for like tubes and repair stuff. But yeah, this is an overall a really great bike. I really apologize for this messy garage for those people who commented on my last video. Make sure to check out all my other videos on my channel. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey YouTube, this is my review of the Giordano Libero 1.6 road bike. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but uh, it's just an entry level road bike. I ordered mine off Amazon.com for about $350. Pretty good deal. I've seen them go as high as $500, but I just kind of watched it and nabbed it as soon as it went down essentially um it's my first road bike I'm more of a mountain biker myself i just kind of picked it up as just to get into doing a little road riding on the side and i mean honestly can't get to the trails as much as i'd like to and i can just hop on this thing and take off but uh definitely i uh, really liking the bike so far i've had it about five months it's entry level all the way Really, so far the only cons I've noticed about it are the brakes. The brakes are a little so-so. Like, really, they're just some side pull brakes that come with it. I actually ordered some more I have on the way now. Nothing fancy. But uh, if you do pick up this bike, I would recommend getting some new ones because bad brakes will ruin your wheels. And these just, I mean, it'll, it stops you, but I, I just feel like it lacks a little bit in stopping power. So it's definitely something you should upgrade if you get this bike. I'm upgrading it. But uh, other than that, really, not much to say complaint-wise about the bike. It's nice frame. It's got the looks of, you know, a fancier bike. Even though it's cheaper. <laughs> but, uh, see, it's got Shimano parts all the way through the drivetrain. Let's see, we got the rear cassettes, the Shimano 8-speed on the rear. Shimano rear derailleur. I'm not sure who makes the front derailleur. I assume it's just Kent Bicycles because they own the company. Then I got the Shimano front derailleur. And the shifters, same thing, Shimano. And this is what sold me on this bike, really. Was for the price range of under $400. It's hard to find a decent bike with the STI shifters, which this has. Like a lot of them had the twist shifts and stuff like that, but I definitely like the idea of the shifting just being as easy as right there in the brake lever. So definitely that's what sold me on this particular. There was a few others I was like on the ropes about, but they had like the twist shifts. I was like, well, that one's the best way to go. That's what I would recommend, honestly. The STI shifters are just, they're easy to use. A lot fancier, I guess. Uh, the wheels, I've heard complaints about the wheels and read stuff online saying negative things about the wheels. I, I mean, they're doing fine for me. I haven't noticed any problems. I mean, I had to get them trued when I first got the bike because they were, I mean, they were a little bent. But, I mean, that's just kind of be expected. 
other than that, no problems though, really. Um, the tires are definitely, I mean, you could tell the tires are a little cheaper. But, I mean, I'll just replace them as need be. Um, let's see. It does have the quick release levers on the front and back, which is always nice. The seat is, stock seat's fairly comfortable. I know everyone's picky about their particular seat to each their own, but honestly, the stock seat isn't too, too bad. Handlebars are nice. The white gets really dirty, but, you know, whatever, it's white. But, I mean, really, this is a good, all-around good bike. I'd recommend it to anybody that's just trying to get their feet wet and either cycling or just wanting to pick up a cheaper road bike. Cheaper but dependable. I mean, really, this is the best way to go. You're not going to find a better deal in a bike for $350. Bottom line, it's lightweight. STI shifters, like I said, and all the quick-release stuff, Shimano parts. It only weighs about 23 pounds, maybe. All around good bike. I definitely recommend it. So, I uh, hope this video just kind of helps ease some skepticism if you're thinking about purchasing the bike. I mean, I'm definitely no expert, but it's it's a great bike from you know every my experience. <laughs> Had no problems with it. I love it. So definitely thumbs up for me. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, thanks for watching. My long overdue six month update on the Volano Tuono. It's been actually about nine months now. I probably got a thousand, maybe 1200 miles on it. So I thought it was a good time to jump back on and uh, just get some updates on the different uh, issues with the bike. Uh, first was the brake pads that seem to be wearing out really quickly. Happy to say those actually um, are doing fine. You know, 1,000, 1,200 miles on it at this point. They're, I'd say they're down maybe 20%. So they're actually pulling up pretty good. They are very loud when you're using them. It almost sounds like a disc brake on a car that's out of pad. They're, it almost sounds metallic, but they work fine. They're kind of embarrassing but <laughs> uh, when you're holding the brakes down hard. But they, they work great, and they're actually not wearing out very quickly at all. Um, the brake levers, for me, I, I wear a medium-large size glove, and these handles just stick out when I'm riding just a little bit too far. I've got to actually reach out a little bit to be able to grab them, so that's a little bit uh, inconvenient, not a huge deal. Um, that non-adjustable seat is definitely an issue. It's uncomfortable on longer rides. Most of my rides are only between 5 and 10 miles. I'm just trying to stay on the bike right now, so I don't lose